Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Before we start this video, if it's not obvious by the thumbnail, this video is intended for adults only. Um, so parents, just to let you know, I am, first of all, we just had like a snow slash ice storm over the weekend. And so we are back to winter here in Maine, even though we never got snow over the winter. Um, so we, Cindy and I have been enjoying playing outside a ton over the weekend, but back to it today. I am finally getting to film the one I'm putting in my Easter, my daughter's Easter basket this year. I usually film one every year and um, I was having things still delivered over the weekend and so obviously I could not film that in front of my daughter or anything. So I am actually heading to Target because I placed an order for pickup and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I'm putting in Sydney's um, Easter basket and then stuff some eggs. So I got some stuff to do that. I'm gonna be on top of it this year instead of doing it that night. I'm gonna get them all situated and ready so that I don't have to stress or worry about it. But I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys what I am doing. So um, yeah, let's go grab our pickup order at Target. so tempted to add a Starbucks to my order now that it prompts you on when you drive up for your drive up order I'm always tempted and that's how they get you that's why they started doing it but I'm not going to I'm gonna save my money and not spend it on Starbucks today so after I go ahead it looks like they're coming out now with my order um, after I go ahead and pick this up I have to grab gas and then I'm gonna very quickly run to Walgreens we were there the other day for like I don't know, just essentials and Sydney saw a couple of things in the aisle so I'm just gonna browse what Walgreens have has in the um, in the Easter aisle <laughs> The other day we were here and Sydney saw these. And I really like this. This is what she saw the other day. I think she saw this. I was basically in Walgreens for so long, far too long. I walked out of there with essentially nothing and it worked up an appetite. So <laughs> rushed home, scarfed down lunch, and here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a haul of all of the things that I am putting in my seven-year-old's Easter basket. I have everything in bags kind of situated. So I am gonna go through what I've purchased for her. I will have everything I can find linked down below. Most of these items you can probably pop on Amazon and find and still hopefully get before Easter, depending on your delivery situation. Uh, I usually like to post this video sooner, but things were still arriving this weekend and obviously my daughter was home with me and so that is why I did not get that up sooner. But I have done one of these uh, every single year. So if you guys haven't seen previous years when she was younger, I will link those down below as well. I love doing them. I have so much fun. 
the way that I do Easter baskets is uh, I do a mix of, you know, some candy and treats, but also items, some fun and some practical that she already needs. It's just kind of how I grew up and I'm carrying on that tradition. So if you just do snacks and food and, and little things, totally fine. Everyone has their own different traditions. Walgreens had so many items, wonderful items, even for younger kids. I didn't even realize how many things they had. If you're last second trying to find a birthday gift for someone, go to Walgreens or for a kid, go to Walgreens because they have so many ideas and things. But at the end of the day, I just thought, okay, we don't need any more stuff. We have enough stuff. And so at this point, I would just be spending money on things that, she, I don't know, maybe she wouldn't even like necessarily love or enjoy. And she might, use, I don't know. Anyway, so at Walgreens, I just picked up some candy. <laughs> I have a bag of candy and I figured I would stuff some eggs with these. So this is Snickers, Skittles, M&M's and Twix and I figured I'm not gonna do this entire bag in eggs um, But some of them I will so we have candy More candy because mom was craving peanut M&M's I might stuff eggs with these I haven't decided it just I don't know so I have peanut M&M's That's a staple I love in my house and then the last thing I got from Walgreens was just a uh, bubble wand so she basically gets a bubble wand every single year and because these are the best in my opinion the one with the long ones because you can wave them around and you're not passing out from blowing bubbles so much for your kid if they want you to um and so every year we get one this was 99 cents um and that is all i got at walgreens so for someone who was there for probably 45 minutes that's crazy um, I did go ahead and pick up my target order. I do have some plastic eggs, but Sydney's tends to play with them after Easter and we lose pieces or I find them on the floor and I'm sick of it, so I throw it away. So I'm not quite certain how many are actually whole eggs that I have upstairs in storage. So I did go ahead and grab two, um, two packs of eggs. I grabbed for fillers. These are my favorite and I'm so sad that I did not buy myself any, but I guess it's, I guess it's okay. Maybe I will borrow, steal one of Sadie's. <laughs> She's a good sharer, so maybe she will share with me. Um, but I did get these mini Cadbury cream chocolate eggs um, and I will go ahead and put some of these in the eggs. Also, I don't wanna do, okay, so we usually go to my mom's house or my family member's house and they do an Easter egg hunt and a little basket and gifts. Like my family just gives. And so I know she's gonna be bombarded with candy and chocolate. And so we don't need that much because she's definitely gonna be getting more at family member's house. So I was trying to think of other things that I could stuff these eggs with. I've done, oh my gosh, when she was little, I used to do like um, goldfish crackers or you can do money of course which I'm probably gonna do a couple and um, Cheerios and little graham cracker bunnies and things many different ideas you can do stickers tattoos and all of that so I was looking at Target's website and I typed in pinata stuffers to see what I could kind of find for little trinkets but not get 25 of them and I saw these and these are way bigger than I expected. I don't know why I was expecting small ones, but these are those little, uh, well, they're not little, they're ginormous. Those hand like sticky things that you kind of like splat. If you saw on my last vlog, we went to the dentist and I thought that she got one as a surprise in an egg, but it wasn't. But I figured these would be a cute little egg stuffer. Hopefully I can squish them in an egg. Like I said, this is way bigger than I expected but hopefully I can figure out how to shove it in an egg and make that work. So we have six of those. Another one, another idea that I got was these. These are the little tattoo necklaces. Um, it came with a five pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of this and stuff the egg, like put one necklace in each egg. And so that will be something else besides just 
30 things of chocolate and candy. Um, and so I thought those were cute. She's really into accessories lately. And so I grabbed those from Target. And then every year I like to do a golden egg, like a special golden egg. This one came just already apart, I don't know. <laughs> But I like to do a golden egg and just kind of fill it with something special. I've done nail polish in the past, like put a $5 bill in there or whatever. And I don't exactly know what I'm going to do this year. I will probably put a $5 bill in there and then figure out what else I can stuff it with. Um, you can do mini bubbles. You can do a little mini stuffed animal. I don't know. Just make it extra special. She, I didn't plan on this being a thing, like the golden egg thing but it happened one year and she talked about it all the time. And she even said like right before Easter the next year, I can't wait to find the golden egg. So now it has to be a thing every year. So there's that. Oh, and then I got her a tank top for vacation. <laughs> she needed a tank top, so that was in there. But that's what I got from Target up like in that round. And then I also got some filler, of course, for like the grass. She has been so into geodes and gems and they have like show and tell once in a while at school and some kids brought in their geodes and so she's been absolutely dying to do them. And I saw this one at Target and it there's only two. So it wasn't $30 huge giant box. So I think this was like $11 or so at Target and there's two geodes and I thought that would be an amazing stuffer and a little activity and something she could um, you know treasure because she's into it so I got her that I, like I said I like to put some useful things in these baskets too things that she needs and is going to use and I usually do summer stuff and outdoor things this year I went ahead and got ugh, even on camera it's amazing a lot of times on camera things don't look as good but um, I did get her this long sleeve rash guard bathing suit from Target it was on massive sale when I went ahead and bought it and she definitely needed to size up. So I got her that. Of course, we're going on vacation really soon. And so I thought, hey, I'll stuff that in her basket. I like doing the long sleeve because, I mean, here in Maine, it's not the warmest at the beach all the time. And so we definitely get use out of this. And then we don't have to worry about um, the sun as much. And hopefully it's okay for Florida. But we, I mean, she has other bathing suits as well. So hopefully that is fine. You can't have an Easter basket without a bunny, in my opinion. It, this has to go in there every single year. So she really loves white chocolate. And so I found this one is a cookies and cream solid bunny. She's not the biggest plain chocolate girl. I don't know. She does not take after me in that sense. But I got her a cookies and cream bunny. And then she really loves lollipops. I did share this in another vlog because I'm pretty sure I purchased it in another vlog. And I saw this really cute uh, push up peeps rainbow lollipop and she loves lollipops. If there's a choice between a candy bar and a lollipop, she's picking lollipop 10 times out of 10. And so I thought that was cute. Um, so that is it for candy in her basket. And then, like I said, there will be candy in the eggs and candy at Mimi's house galore. So. All right, I got her a new water bottle. Love, love these large Stanleys. I know I showed it in a vlog, but if you are watching this strictly because you found an Easter basket video, um, love this size Stanley for summer camps and sports because it's nice and large and it does keep things nice and cold. We have a light pink one and oh gosh, I think, did she get the light pink one for Easter last year? She definitely got the name sticker that we have on the Stanley last year in the Easter basket and I love it. But I did wanna go ahead and get her another one so I got her a purple Stanley water bottle. And we will definitely get use out of that in the summertime. And then I got, which I think I'm gonna take it out of the package and set it up to put in her basket. I got her one of these Surfer Dude beach toys it's like it's like a essentially a boomerang toy where you throw it in the ocean and it will ride the waves back to the beach every single year we see kids at the beach with them and she wants one every single year and i just i don't know why i just either haven't found them or even thought about buying them but they had these at one of the local toy shops and so i had to go ahead and grab this and it's just one of i don't know it gives her something to do at the beach 
And so I got her a pink one since her favorite color is pink. And then in a vlog, I also shared this. I found these a couple of few weeks ago at J. Crew. These are little flower hair clips and these will definitely be useful. Her hair is getting so much longer and I'm needing to kind of figure out how to style it. And like I said, she's really into accessories. So that's just a nice little basket stuffer that we will put to good use. And I thought those were really cute. They were on 40% off sale when I um, found those in the store. And then the last couple of items I did get off of Etsy, she has been asking for her very own big hairbrush. She has a smaller kid's hairbrush, but she's been asking for a larger one. And so I went ahead and saw these on Etsy. Very simple. It's basically, it's just um, a wet brush and with their name on it. Um, they were out of pink, even though her favorite color is pink, they were out of pink. So I went with teal and pink writing and it just says her name on it. And I think it's cute that it comes with a bow and it's got that flower handle. And so that, and then the last thing that I have right now are these sweet little earrings I got from Etsy and they are flowers. They um, are tiny and I think they're gonna be perfect on her ears. I'm just terrified to switch out her earrings, but hopefully she does fine with these. And I had to go with the cute little pink flower daisies. And so that is what I have for her Easter basket. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get to stuffing some eggs and then we'll build the basket. Now we will see if I have any matching top and bottom out of these. All right, so I stuffed a bunch of them. Half of them in there are unstuffed from like in the years past and I just threw the candy in here because I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest. Um, maybe some coins or like I said, like graham crackers or things. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and be done with the eggs. At least I have a nice start on them. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Easter basket. So this is I get to be Sydney's Easter basket this year. I'm debating on taking these off the clips. I can always pop these in eggs to hide around as well. Uh, just something to think about. But anyway, this is, you get the gist of it. <laughs> this is everything that Sydney's gonna get for Easter. I love how this basket came out. Like I said, I love doing a mix of things that she needs and can absolutely use all the time and fun things for her to do. Um, outside or as activities. So anyway, this is Sydney's Easter basket this year. Mm -hmm. 